Hey guys, I'm back in the last part, we unlocked Pong Tong's level 10 weapon. And now, we're going to go unlock another one. And the next one we're going to get is Wei Yan's. So, not only we don't have to worry about getting it in Musa mode, but I highly recommend you getting it in free mode. Just because it will be a bit easier to get, but I'll talk about that in a bit. So, when it comes to the actual stage, we have to go to Yiling, which is right here. Play a campaign for Jing, under Liu Bei's forces. And obviously, as Wei Yan. So, this time around, I'll show off the fifth model, like always, which is Dynasty Warriors 3 model. So, uh, here we go. Alright, so we know the objectives the equipment, the weapon, we have the double star level 9, the items. I'm gonna swap out that 7 star sash and replace it with the peacock urn. And then I'll add, uh,. I'll add to Speed Squirrel, why not? The bodyguards I'll leave it to. The unit info. For Leo base forces, you have Zhuge Liang, Ma Liang, and Wei Yan, which is me. Zhao Yun, and Zhang Fei. For Cao Cao's forces, you have Han Xuan and Yang Ling. Leo Du and Liu Xian. Jin Xuan and Gong Ji. Zhao Fan, Chen Ying and Bao Long. Wang Zhang, and Wei Yan. Yes, even though I am playing as Wei Yan, in free mode, it will be the default characters, so Huang Zhang and Wei Yan will both be here. A bit odd, but uh, like I said, it's there for a reason, and it involves the weapon, but uh, I'll talk about that in a second, so uh, yeah, let's do it. So when it comes to the weapon itself, Wei Yan's level 10 weapon I should say, in order to get it, all you have to do is defeat Han Xuan before Sao Ren and Zhao Yuan arrives, which is a big deal when it comes to actually playing the stage, whether it's in free mode or Musa mode. But um, first we're gonna go into featuring Dalrong, which won't be an issue at all. So when it comes to the weapon, like I said, we have to defeat Han Xuan before reinforcements arrive. Why is it highly recommended playing in free mode and not Musa mode? Well, if you, well, you should have Wei Yan unlocked by then, but uh, if you replay this in Musa mode, Wang Zhang and Wei Yan will not be here, but instead it will be, if I'm not mistaken, Zhao Dun and Zhang He. So you would have to physically defeat Han Xuan yourself. Meanwhile, if you do it in free mode, both Wei Yan and Huang Zhang will both be here. And if you defeat Huang Zhang, uh, Huang Zhang, then you'll see that cutscene where Han Xuan will try to execute or finish off Huang Zhang. But um, right before he does it, Wei Yan kills Han Xuan, thus uh, defeating one of the four that you need to defeat. So, in a way, if I'm not mistaken, you cannot defeat Huan, uh, Han Xuan last, and most importantly, defeating Jin Xuan will trigger the reinforcements. So, once, well, we can defeat Liu Shan and uh, Liu Du, and obviously we could defeat Xing Dao Rong, because obviously if I kept on moving forward and ignored him, obviously we couldn't do that. And I would have brought it up before. But anyway, so. As soon as I'm done defeating Liu Du, we'll go straight for Huang Zhang and defeat him. And then we'll take care of the rest of the stage. So, anyway. And he is almost down. There we go. Hate can be cruel. So it's one down, three more to go. We have to occupy all four bases, which pretty much means we have to defeat all four commanders. But um if you're playing this in free mode, you don't have to worry about one of them. For the people's sake, we must surrender. 
I'm not afraid of Leo Bay. Open the gate. All right, so more than likely, when Jin Xuan approaches you, he will challenge you to a duel. But don't accept it, decline it, and keep on moving on. Because, like I said before, defeating Jin Xuan will most likely trigger Zha Hou Yuan and Zhao Ren um, appearing. And we gotta make sure we defeat Han Xuan before they appear. So, we'll go straight for Han Xuan, defeat Yang Ling, and then fight Huang Zhang. And more than likely, he'll challenge us to a duel. If you're doing this in Musa mode, then neither Zha Houdun or Zhang He will charge at you. And maybe they'll challenge you to a duel. But more than likely, here, obviously, uh, Wang Zhang will challenge us to a duel. Very likely. Um, but, you know, every now and then that they won't. But that's a rare, rare thing. Anyway, Yang Ling is down. If Wang Zhang challenges us to a duel, uh, I might just decline it. Just for the fact that uh, I don't want my items to be uh, compromised. Best way to really put it. Yeah, let's not do away Yan either. I have a feeling he's gonna challenge us to a duel though. Wong Zhang, yep. You know what? Fuck it, let's try it. I declined two duels already. I can't afford declining another one. And I can't afford to defeat Wei Yan either, because that involves that cutscene. So I had to decline that one. But I know this one's gonna be a pain to deal with. That was close. Okay. Now that I defeated Huang, uh, yeah. Now that I defeated Huang Zhang. Let's get the fuck out of here. Because uh, now that cutscene will appear, will occur, appear, occur, whatever. But um, here we go. Think to betray me? Scum. Liu Bei. New master. And that's why I had to decline Wei Yan's duel. And we just got the weapon right there. So there's two things I could do. I could go for Zhao Fan, defeat Zhao Fan, and then defeat Jin Chuan. But now I'm trying to remember. Will defeating Zhao Fan trigger the reinforcements as well? Um, I think that answer is a yes. So let's just go and defeat Zhao Fan next. We we already have the item. I mean the weapon. So. And other stuff I should say, if Wei, if you bump into yourself, technically, if you bump into Wei Yan and he challenges to a, you to a duel, more than likely he will, because you're fighting yourself. And I did test that out a couple of times um, while grinding for characters' uh, stats and maxing out their stats, and I bumped into their self in the stage. <laughs> anyway, um, and I think only twice out of that 
knows how many times I did it, uh, that they didn't challenge me to a duel. So, if you bump into Wei Yan and he'll challenge you to a duel, decline that too, because you need to keep Wei Yan alive. Otherwise, well, you already know. So, that occurred. There's the reinforcements. Um, so that answer is a yes. All other units come about and engage the enemy reinforcements. Uh, I might as well go and defeat those two. We have to fight harder. And then we'll go for Jin Xuan. I can just go for Jin Xuan right now, but... They are strong, but do not falter. I'm looking at my re recording and it's not even hitting the 11, it just hit the 11 minute mark, so I'd rather not make it too short. Zhao Ren is down. Now I'll go for Jahal Yuan. I would have liked to have seen the chaos end. And then once we defeat Jahal Yuan, we'll go for Jin Xuan and end it. And more than likely, he'll challenge us to a duel too. Oh shit. You think you can stop yeah, you know what? Why not? Might as well give it a shot. I mean, he doesn't have that yellow aura around him, so we should be okay. And that was a fucking slaughter. Alright, Zhao Yuan is down, and now all we have left is Jin Xuan. And he'll challenge us to a duel, so... I'm gonna try that. Yeah, I am milking a little bit. I just want to get a couple additional KOs, even though it's not necessary. But I'll go on foot, defeating Jin Xuan, and then we'll end it. Did uh, Wang Zhang also defect, or it's just Wei Yan? Nah, it's just uh, Wei Yan. Anyway. And here we go. Yeah, we'll defeat him. He might be a little bit difficult in comparison to Zhao Yuan, just for the fact that he's a commander. And I'm saying a little bit because, as you can see, six hits with Zhao Yuan are facing Zhao Yuan. Um, he was in the red health margin. But here, different story. I don't think he counters though, so I don't have to worry about that. No, it can't be over yet. And that's it, because uh, we defeated Liu Du first, then Wei Yan killed Han Shuan. We defeated Zhao Fan, and there we go. And that's a win. All right, so that's another weapon down. Um, we completed that stage in 9 minutes and 5 seconds. 
not a lot of time. <laughs> anyway, the items, yeah. I didn't expect much. Uh, the kill count is 89, a worthy opponent count is 9. Uh, the points are probably low. But at the end of the day, like that, it matters. Because uh, the rank is at max, so. Wow. Actually got a lot more points than I thought. So, 4,359 points. Not that it matters. Anyway, because as you can see, the rank is at max. Now the weapon. We have our level 10 weapon, the Comet Strike. Um, powers at plus 57. Um, and that's basically it. I mean, I'm pretty, I know I'm going to repeat myself numerous times, but the only thing that's really special about the level 10 weapons is pretty much if you have a Vorp, uh, Vorp, well, I'm using a Vorp element, but if you have any element equipped, you don't have to worry about your Musa Gage being, uh, full to, uh, use it. So, anyway, the bodyguards, as you know, I can give two shits. We will save, and... There you have it. You can watch my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4. And I'll see you in the next part where we will unlock another weapon. And if I'm not mistaken, it will be... Uh, I think the next one is Wang Zhang. Which, uh, that... Ought to be fun. Uh... I gotta check again. Yeah, Wang Zhang. So, anyway, uh, peace out.